Hello everyone, welcome again to the Crafty Crow Show. Thank y'all for stopping by. Now, today's episode, of course, going to be a gear review because that's what I've been doing lately. I uh, went on a recent camp out with Jason and Corey, and while we were out, had two pieces of my gear that I set up and decided to do a review on while they were out, and I had them out and using them. So today it's going to be my Warbonnet hammock and my Chill Gorilla tarp. Now, both these pieces of gear, I love them. Um, the Chill Gorilla tarp for the price point is awesome. Um, I, don't, I don't think you could have got cheaper. Um, and then the Warbonnet hammock, you know, I tried some of the cheaper hammocks to see if I liked hammock camping, and I do suggest you do that because it's not for everybody. But I like it pretty well. It's really comfortable to sleep out in a hammock, especially when you start getting it dialed in on how to do it and some of the tips and tricks. So, show you that. I'll show you my gear. Um, you know, upgrade because that more bonnet is an upgrade from the cheap hammocks. But I liked it. It was worth it, and it's been worth it every time I've got in it. I love that thing. So, we'll get into it. We'll not keep you too long. Show your review. Give y'all the stats on both of them and the prices. Stick with us. We'll get you out in the woods and let you see some of my gear. Well, there she is, the camp setup. We'll get in and get a little bit closer view. The light might be off, but I can't go stand in the lake to get better light. So we're stuck with what we got, right? All right. You can see how. Got the pack set up, just the toggle hanging off the tree. It kind of makes things more handy so you don't have to get on the ground with it. Then we'll pan back to show my beloved Warbonnet hammock. This hammock's made by Warbonnet. They're out of uh, Colorado. And so far I have been absolutely tickled to death with the quality of it. Uh, some stats on it, this is the uh, Traveler hammock, the heavyweight double traveler. I'll show you what I mean by double in a minute, but it's 10 foot long, has a 101 inch ridge line, as you can see right there, comes on the hammock, and it's 62 inches wide. These are made uh, for six foot, people up to six foot. They make one a little bit bigger, that's, I think it was like 6'4 or 6'6, six, six. you'll have to look. Um, I think the weight limit on this one is 400 pounds. And they say on the website the weight limit is not the max load it can handle. It's just the max comfortable weight is for 400 pounds. Other than that, you can go over that, but it kind of stretches out and it's not as comfortable. So the whole hammock setup here you see with the, the straps and the hammock was $110 off the website. I started out not knowing if I liked hammock camping or not, but I bought one of the Amazon, you know, the general run of the mill, $30 hammocks or whatever, and I liked it enough to upgrade, so saved up some money, upgraded to this bad boy, and I have not regretted it once. I'm actually kind of wishing it'd get dark just so I can hurry up and get in it, because it's, it's kind of, for the last time I used it, I didn't want to get out of it. Um, so we'll come in and give you the Kind of how the buckle system works and they just pull through and they kind of lock together with tension on them i've not had them slip at all once i've got them set up um i think this hammock all together the weight on it without the suspension is one pound seven ounces i couldn't tell off the website it's either 70 denier or 40 denier but the double layer i think the outside layer is 70 and the inner layer might be 40 so it's two different uh, two different layers and what I mean by layers we've got let's see if I can show this there's two layers to this hammock so it actually has a pocket inside of it oh if I can do this one-handed guys down in there you can see a little bit got a sleep mat there we go you got a sleep mat this is made by Rothko uh, I think they make a lot of military gear but 
it's uh, reflective on one side. It's not a very thick sleep mat, but it's reflective. Uh, $18.99 is the price on it. Because when you sleep in a hammock, you get a lot of um, thermal conduction, I guess it was, out from underneath because you've got that air blowing underneath it that pulls heat off of you. So it's fine in the daytime, but when you're going to try to sleep in it, it's not too fine, especially you're supposed to get down to the 40s tonight. Um, I have slept in a hammock down in mid-20s, I think, back in February, me and Jason went. Stayed pretty good because I've got the good old trusty military mummy bag here. I um, have a pillow and I also have one of my great grandfather's wool blankets. And I believe this might be 100%. Um, it's still a military blanket, but I think it's 100% wool. So between this bag and this pad, I won't get a bit cold. And this is kind of what my setup's going to be for winter time. Uh, I have this blanket on top of it and that's about the setup I had in February, and it worked really good for that code, so it shouldn't be a bit of problem tonight. Uh, got the ridge line. This is the stuff sack that the hammock actually goes in. It hangs on your ridge line. I've got my headlamp in there. I've got uh, toboggan in there to put on your head at night because it's good to keep your head warm. But stuff sack comes with it, and then there's the other end of it. But this hammock is definitely stronger, more durable feeling. I mean, just looking at it, you can tell the difference between those and those cheaper ones from Amazon. So, yeah, I'm tickled to death with the purchase I made on this. It's exceeded my expectations. And then over top of it, which I've got kind of a porch mode thing set up, because it is good and just feels good out here right now. This is a Chill Gorilla Hex Tarp. Uh, I think hex hammock, hex tarp, something like that. It's cut at kind of a hexagon shape to give you more length on each end so it covers your hammock real good. Um, the stats on this one, let me get my notes out. Another U.S. company, Chill Grill is another U.S. company, so it's made in America. It's poly, poly, poly treated, if I get it out, ripstop nylon. Uh, 210 denier on that. The center line up at the top is 142 inches. It's 108 inches wide. It weighs 1.4 pounds and it comes with six guy lines and four aluminum stakes. Uh, let me try to get around. I'll show you their logo. The price on it was $42. There we go. Chill Gorilla, 42 bucks. And for some of these other outfitters, you know, that's cheaper. But I'll tell you what, man, this thing is absolutely, it's, it's treated with that poly coating, like I said. It's good and thick. And what research I've done, it's actually, for its size and everything, is very light. Um, it's a lot more lightweight than I thought. I thought it was a little bit heavier. Started researching some others and seeing that it was it was up there. And that price range, man, you can't beat that price range. These guys have made good products. You can see how they've got their uh, end ties on each one of their corners. Um, the only other one I would probably get is their, uh, I think they call it a fortress. Or something like that it has doors on each end for winter time it'd be good but i think this tar tarp even by itself i could make a tent out of that and sleep on the ground if i needed to if i didn't bring the hammock or something been ecstatic over this tarp too um, it really surprised me like i said with the price and stuff that it is and i've been really really happy with it i've actually used this before i got the war bonnet used it on the other ones i've never had a problem out of it um, never once thought that I was going to rip it. It's got good uh, seams all the way down through it. It's sewn in good um, all the way around. You can see I've got it. I've got it tensioned pretty tight out here on the ends. I mean, it's just it's just a great tarp. So uh, if you're in the market or you're thinking about upgrading, it ain't going to be nothing to be able to get that tarp. 
Um, those guys are a smaller company their startup looks like but they've been real good to us uh, Jason's actually communicated with them some they featured some of his photos in their advertisements but Chill Gorilla it's a good company they have uh, hammocks and things too I've not tried any of their stuff I've had this and I bought that because you can see Jason's got one and I liked it that's why I bought this one and I've loved this one and this uh, the hex tarp is been really good for hammocking and like I said I could even use that for cover with a tent or something and then so go check those guys out and then war bonnet man if you're wanting to upgrade a hammock to a an awesome hammock you need a war bonnet because this thing is great those guys seem like they've got a great company going on too do a lot of good quality products because this is definitely a quality product I'm tickled to death with this so that's the camp set up it's a little bit of a gear review. I know I've been stuck on those lately, but just want to give you a view of what we look like when we get set up here. So. Okay, everyone. There it was. Two of my favorite pieces of gear. Uh, that's my sleep system. You know, there'll be times that probably won't be able to use a hammock, but I hope those are few and far between because I love those two. But you've seen how I had it set up. Uh, man. I've never had a better night's sleep out in the woods than in that hammock. And then uh, having that tarp over you, you know, just the combination is great. Um, plus having that pad in there too, that, that's kind of an essential thing to have to have. Uh, so you don't freeze your hind end off. But hope you all enjoyed it. Um, if you like the content, I hope you hit the like button. Uh, if you've not already, I really hope that you subscribe. Uh, so hit the bell beside the subscribe button to get all the, the videos that I post up and get notified as soon as they come up. But thanks for sticking with us, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope you come along next time for the next thing we get into. Until then, love one another, because that's what we need right now, and we'll see you on the next video.